game of the tournament so far? I think if you're going to ask Kirsten at the beginning of this match, I'm just going to pencil in 248. Are you going to be happy with that? Everyone will take that in an instant. So uh, she's just got to stay positive. Anything can happen. Second game underway with yet another strike for Chris Barnes. It's actually 12 strikes in a row that Chris has rolled. Went out with 11, came in with one. No change there. Oscar Palermo will be sweating up in the green room watching this one, Jason. Look, Oscar doesn't, he's not scared of anything. He's not scared of anyone. He knows that if it's going to come down to striking at over 600 RPM, he does, really. So I guess he's hoping that Chris strikes from now until the end of this match, get them all out of his system, or vice versa, even if Kirsten strikes out, just get these bowls and get the strikes out of their system so when they play him, they might leave a pin or two. Yeah, Kirsten Penny by no means out of this contest as yet, and she starts with a strike as well. Very impressive bowling from both these guys. This is easily the highest quality we've had at this tournament so far. Consistently brilliant from both bowlers. I like what Kirsten's done. She's, she's moved her break point a little further to the right. Uh, the boards further to the right get a little drier, so the back-end reaction is going to be a little harsher. I think she doesn't want to leave the flat 10, but at the same time, She's going to increase her strike percentage, but there is going to be a risk involved. She could leave something nasty doing that. Great work. Chris Barnes, incidentally, took the new high game score for this tournament away from Ryan Lally Sang with that first game at 290. Really has been impressive. That's his tournament stats so far. 29 strikes, five spares and two opens, and Kirsten Penny will be hoping against hope that one of those opens appears in this second game for Barnes. Yeah, Chris was having a, a quiet little chat with Guy Kaminsky on the side of the lane there, and I think Chris is sort of saying, well, if the lane's going to give me that much area, I'm going to stay there all day long, and everything's carrying for me. Yeah, great work, a double from Kirsten Penny, and the second game following on in the same vein as the first. Well, Chris is going to be very happy that the game stays the same. As long as it, it does, he's uh, got that 42-pin lead from game number one. Good clean bowling from Kirsten Penny. All the way through, no opens. That's why she's in this quarter-final. That's why she's still in with a chance. Barnes then working a double in this second game. In terms of the match, 14 strikes in a row. This is phenomenal. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the chances here for Kirsten. The only, the only way that Kirsten can get through this match is if she picks up that ball that he just threw and threw it away because it's just looking unbelievable on the lane. And when you have as much talent as Chris and have been in that many TV finals, you know, the nerves are now gone. He's just in straight cruise control. And it's so hard. To, to put him off or do anything. And she's, she knows it's every frame that goes away just makes it harder and harder. Penny then working a double as well. It's turkey for Penny. That one looked good all the way down. Yeah, another great shot from Kirsten. Uh, three strikes in a row, so the match stays even, or well, this game stays e even. Unfortunately, they're running out of frames. There's only seven to go. Kirsten still 42 pins adrift playing against the PBA Player of the Year. No easy task. It's the type of fixture that this World Tempin Masters competition throws up every year. It's a mouth-watering one and it's delivering. This is some shootout. Barnes then looking for a four-bagger. That little pre-shot routine that he goes through every single time. Oh, he's not so sure on that one, but there it is. <laughs> Hold and set, we like that. I think he's showed it a bit now. Jason, what do you think? That signal that you saw there was the NFL sign for a holding, which is a penalty. He's uh, missed a little in. It's, you know, it's hard to see the oil pattern out there because the oil is invisible. It is a softer pattern out there, but if you do not release the ball correctly, 
the 10 pin or the 4 pin or a 9 pin will stand. It's quite easy to get to the pocket, but the way the pins fall, you still have to throw the ball great. And he's, he's throwing the ball great now for 15, 14 frames. Kirsten trying to match Barnes. She does. Oh, this is wonderful. This really is good bowling. Oh, I like it. She's still, she's still saying to Chris, hey, you need to shoot 259 to shut me out. So Chris now has the opportunity to spare twice. Nine spare, strike nine spare will be for 259. So it's still, he still has to strike. Assuming, uh, assuming that Kirsten shoots 300. Assuming she shoots 300. I need some help. He got some. Five bagger for Chris Barnes. And he moved to uh, 16 strikes in a row. Kirsten Penny oh, then. The expression on her face says it all. What on earth have I got to do in this match? She's putting together a score, well, that would have won previous tournaments, let alone get her through to a semi-final. And it looks as if she's going out. Well done, Kirsten. Wow, <laughs> big carry on that ball. It was uh, right on the head pin, half pocket. They managed to hit him thin, make him spin, shoots five strikes in a row. I've got a feeling here that Kirsten could go through 500 and still be beaten. What a great card for both players. Look at that. Don't have to test your maths. It's great stuff. Welcome back to the Metrodome. Kirstine Penny against Chris Barnes in the quarterfinals of the World 10-Pin Masters. Both players perfect through the opening five frames. Chris Barnes then, one of only three players to win the Rookie of the Year and PBA Bowler of the Year in his career. Tommy Jones and Mike Orby also share that honour. <laughs> And the legend keeps rolling. Six pack for Barnes in this second game. Jason, not much variation in the lane for Chris. He's been uh, pretty much uh, same line all the way through. It, it looks like it. I mean, when when Chris gets to stand in the same spot and throw the ball the way he wants to throw it, he is almost impossible to beat. You you really need to get him out of that comfort zone where he is right now and. When there's only uh, two people bowling on the lane, the lane, although it does change, isn't going to change as quickly or dramatically yes, as when you just need to keep people. her fingers crossed and hope for an absolute miracle. Kirsten chasing the strikes and she keeps getting them. It's another six pack. Both players striking each other shot for shot. This is wonderful stuff. Well, the break point was in a little. And the six pin just did enough to do its job. If you'll see it, it the break point's a little further left. Six pin just ankle taps it. At well, that point you were making about Chris Barnes being knocked out of his rhythm. He was having a laugh with us about the lily that he hit. The uh, the big.